this video, I want to share with you a medium to large format presentation switcher from Atlona called the Omega PS62. The Omega PS62 is a 6 input, 2 output matrix presentation switcher, part of the Omega series of integration products for modern AV communication and collaboration from Atlona. The PS62 features HDMI, HDBase-T and USB-C inputs, as well as both HDMI and HDBase-T outputs. The PS62 is ideal for a wide range of 4K applications when paired with other transmitters and receivers from within the Omega series of products. The Omega PS62 features integrated USB extension over HDBase-T up to 330 feet or 100 meters. This capability plus interfacing for host PCs as well as USB peripherals, make the PS62 ideal for video conferencing and unified communication platforms such as Zoom, Skype for Business, Microsoft Teams, Cisco WebEx, BlueJeans, and GoToMeeting. Plus, Atlona also offers the HDVS Cam. That's a PTZ camera with USB interface, ideal for use with the PS62. Let's take a look at the back panel on the PS62 and define some of the inputs and outputs that we see there. We'll start out with the HDBase-T inputs. These feature the HDBase-T Class A chipset, meaning we will have 100 meters or 330 feet of extension from uh, Omega Series inputs to the PS62. Beside that, we have HDMI ports. These are HDMI 2.0. That's full 18 gigabits of bandwidth. That means they will support 4K transmission. Beside that, USB-C input. Uh, when the present, a presenter's laptop is connected, this will provide power to the laptop. Beside that, USB hub and USB host, USB connections. These are 3.0 USB connections. Beside that, HDMI and HDBase-T outputs. These are our matrix outputs, meaning we can route any source to either of these displays in any combination that we like. The HDBase-T output does feature PoE, so it will power the Omega Series receiver on the other end. Uh, we also have microphone inputs uh, on the PS62 as well. In the next video, I'll go through the web GUI interface of the PS62, and we'll take a look at the uh, in individual control uh, within the web GUI interface and show you how to adjust things like the microphone docking and uh, other features of the PS62. Uh, beside that, we also have audio inputs as well as audio outputs. Notice there are two inputs, two outputs, because these can work in a dual zones uh, system as well. Uh, another great feature of the PS62, and then an RS-232 input for control. The Omega PS62 includes two powerful features that you'll find integrated across the Omega product family. Those features are automatic display control and automatic input selection. Automatic Display Control, or ADC, is a feature that allows the presentation switcher to turn on the display when a live signal is connected. So for a presenter who's new to the room, they simply walk in, grab the available connection, connect their laptop, and the PS62 will recognize the live signal, automatically turn on the display. Likewise, can be set up to automatically turn it off when the presentation is over. In much the same way, automatic input selection uh, allows for a, an automatic switch from one input to the next when the next presenter connects their source to the available connection. And when they disconnect, the system fails back over to the previous presenter. So that's automatic display control and automatic input selection. Two powerful features that make the PS62 very easy for an end user to operate. There are so many great applications for the PS62. Let me share a few with you. First, meetings and conference rooms, where the PS62 may sit off to the side of the room in a cabinet or a credenza, interfacing with equipment in the AV rack, and also with uh, products like uh, Omega transmitters at the presentation table, uh, microphones, or even displays in the room. 
Another application would be video conferencing, where the PS62 serves as the center point uh, and can talk to local and remote USB devices while also allowing for interfacing between host PCs and switching of video and USB between those host PCs. Uh, additionally, the PS62 offers downscaling on the HDMI port, which is ideal for optimizing video for the codec at the far end. Another great application are in larger scale auditorium or lecture halls where the PS62 may feature 4K output to a main projector in the room while the HDMI output scales video for a local confidence monitor. Uh, active learning classrooms are another great application for the PS62 where PS62s may be located at unique student pods throughout the room where the students can interface locally and then they all feed back to a central teacher's station where, the, where a master PS62 can be used to interface with the student pods, allowing ideas to be shared with the entire classroom. And a final application is lecture capture, where the HDMI port on the PS62 can be used to feed out to streaming applications to capture important data based on the lecture. Be sure to check out my other Omega PS62 training video where I turn on the Omega PS62, connect up sources and other devices to it, and walk through the web GUI interface. Now, to learn more about the PS62 and the rest of the Omega series products from Atlona, visit us online at atlona.com.